Volpinia, a peaceful nation founded by a race of refugee fox people. For many months, Volpinia was a quiet nation. But one man would change everything. Herador and his trusty companion Zipulanus roamed the world of Eldheim looking for a place to settle. The origins of Zebulonis and Terador are mysterious to many, although some info from their past has been gleaned, and we'll be going over that later in the video. Terador and Zebulonis roamed the south of Eldheim looking for a place to settle, but not knowing where they were or whose country they were in. They settled underground, where Zebulonis and his snow-like body could stay cool. They found a mob spawn and began building their base and building up their resources underground. And there, they waited. Eventually, they figured out what country they were hiding in, and they approached the leader at the time, Westeros. Terador and Zebulonis demanded that they be given a city of their own, or a plot of land to build one. Westeros told them that there were already too many settlements within their territory, and offered to give them territory that has been mostly abandoned. Westeros gave them Fort Volpiria. They would planned to build a fort there, and they had started the walls, but things came up and they never ended up building the fort. And thus, Terador and Zebulonis took it over, and the city of Pastel was born. Terador, who had a weird obsession with cake, built it out, and baked and sold cakes to help the funding and building of Pastel. And while it's still a fairly small town, Pastel has managed to gain a lot of attention, mostly due to one of its first residents of the town, Meltan. Meltan, whose origins are just as mysterious as Terador and Zebulonis, quickly grew to fame amongst Volpinia. He gained a reputation as a slayer of bandits. Refusing to be a bandit himself, he tracked down and slayed many bandits that were terrorizing the land. Despite living in the attic of another member of Pastel, Meltan is still the richest member of Pastel, with his treasure hidden clear in another continent unknown by other residents where they are hidden. There is a huge target on Meltan's back. Despite numerous requests from Terador to not start any trouble, Meltan, along with another member of Pastel, Pepperboy, have ruffled quite a few feathers, although they've made far more friends than enemies. Pastel is known for its innovation in audio video tech, creating and broadcasting what they feel to be is some of the most state-of-the-art adverts for Pastel that can be available. Here's an example. Hey you! Me? Yes, you! Do you like cake? Uh-huh. Good! You should join the City of Pastel, where we have every single flavor of cake imaginable! Even chocolate? No! Aw, oh, man! Join the City of Pastel and get your free cake today! While Pastel is still a small town, it's quickly becoming a place frequented by celebrities of Stoneworks, and is slowly but surely becoming the Hollywood of Eldheim. It just recently built numerous plots open to people to come live in Pastel, and has has an open in invitation to entertainments and everyone else. An amphitheater has begun construction within the walls of Pastel, and will be home to many entertainment events. The Pastel Production Company is also currently working on making a TV drama that is expected to be one of the biggest productions to ever take place in Stoneworks. The names of the stars are still unknown as of now. Crazy things have been known to happen in Pastel. Most harmless, but one incident of note is when Terador was attacked by a Ravenger spawned by Meltan. To backtrack a bit, let's talk about the backstories of Zebulonis and Terador. Zebulonis is the last of his species of snowmen. The snow people lived in a place called Snowgalemia. The snow people were violent people who never stopped killing each other. Eventually, all but Zebulonis had died. Despite the snowmen being a warlike people, Zeb was unique in that he never wanted to fight. His passion fell within architecture, and Zeb became the lead architect of Pastel, designing the walls of Pastel as well as the town hall and the amphitheater that is currently under construction. Terador, whose birthplace is unknown, is very secretive about his past, but some can glean that he was a member of a cult of some sort within his life. Terador claims to no longer believe in that religion, but he has carried some sort of those philosophies into his new life. Terador is constantly giving out vague quotes from a book he calls The Cookbook. His favorite quote being, We are all just sprinkles in the cake we call Earth. 
and what that means is anyone's guess. Turtor also seems to have some memory problems, constantly forgetting what he was doing and running around pastel without a reason. People suspect this has something to do with the amount of cakes he's been eating. A number of buildings and the layout of Pastel were built by two dedicated members of Pastel, Typhoon and Unlucky. With their help, Pastel was able to build space for many new members to join. Pastel eventually gained recognition by Volpinia and was added to the Great Ice Highway built within Volpinia. There's a tavern located just outside the inner walls of Pastel, open for people to drink and talk about their travels. The inn is a popular set for the Pastel film crew. The Pastel Tavern is a go-to place for most Pastelians. There's also a dock built to help bring in more resources and to export Pastel's main export, cake. Cake is a large part of Pastel, being Terador's favorite food, with a surprising amount of cake being baked constantly. Along with Meltan's bandit hunting, this is the primary funding of Pastel. But here's where the lore of Pastel gets weird. Cake. There is a fixation with cake that only a few members of Pastel have. Most importantly are Terador and Zebulonis. Offering a free cake to any new member of Pastel, they seem to be mostly normal individuals until the word cake gets brought up. And then they get really weird. In the most simple terms, they're obsessed. Their philosophy of life revolves around cake, and they believe that life is like a cake. Some slices are meant to be shared, and others are meant to be kept to yourself. The question is, what are they keeping to themselves? We may never know for sure what goes on in Pastel, but what we do know is that it's a fun place to be. Full of cake and laughter, it's open to all to migrate to Pastel, and stands to grow well beyond its current borders. So if you ever find yourself in Southern Eldheim, make sure to stop by Pastel. Who knows, you may just meet someone famous. Welcome to Pastel. We have lots of new members joining our quiet little town. Let's see how our newest member is doing. This is Timmy. Oh dear, Timmy. You haven't eaten your cake. Why haven't you eaten your cake? It has strawberries on it, and I don't like strawberries. What? You don't like strawberries, you say? Well, Timmy, we have just the thing for you. But oh, look, there goes the village idiot, Meltan. Tell us about Stoneworks, Meltan. Stoneworks? I sure hope it does. <laughs> Very funny. Let's check back to our friend Timmy. <laughs> Golly, I do love strawberries on my cake. <laughs> oh. Very good. You too should join Pastel today and eat all the cake you want. <laughs>